big salute to all of my veterans out here, man. Big shout out to all of my subscribers, man. Like I tell you guys at every video, I appreciate each and every one of you. Real quick content today. Today I'll be answering this question. Do freight dispatchers need an MC number to access the DAT load board, right? So the reason why I said the DAT load board is because that's who you guys should be going to go get that 30 day free trial with in the description box below. If you guys are looking for access to the load board, go click that link, go get your 30 day free trial with DAT. Now the question is, do freight dispatchers need an actual motor carrier number and authority to get access to the load board so for me to go for me to keep it simple with you guys hey let me tell you guys real quick before i roll off into this content man i love training i love mentoring i love teaching you know it's just something about me man it's something about me taking this right here and writing you know, it ain't nothing like the power of a pen, a marker, or whatever. It's nothing like the power of the written language, you know, too. And when you're able to teach other people things, that's when you're going to get smarter, too, you know. So if you're able to teach something, it's only going to help you out. I remember this general telling me that one time we was in ODP when I was an officer in the military, officer development uh profession or something i don't know if that's what it's called but anyway all of the officers got together and then usually usually of the time they'll have like some high ranking type general or somebody come and speak to us and i remember this general came and basically told us during his speech he said when you want to learn something you might only need to know it a little bit but if you could teach it then that's when you're gonna really learn a lot. See, I already know this because I've already then been through a lot in this trucking industry. So everything that I'm teaching to you guys is a lot coming from my failures. But when I'm able to take this marker and get up here on this whiteboard, I feel like now I'm even learning myself because now I'm learning how to speak. You know, I'm learning how to teach. I'm learning how to do everything that I've always wanted to do in this world, you know, and I'm able to do that right now and get paid while I'm doing it, you know, so, man, I'm about to get off on the rant real quick. I just had to put that out there to you guys. Let's roll off into this content. Do freight dispatchers need an MC number for the DAT load board? So the answer is no. So I'll tell you guys. If you try to go on a DAT website, they're going to ask you for an MC number or a USDOT number. So most freight dispatchers don't have a MC number or DOT number because it's not required to have a DOT number or MC number to be a freight dispatcher, right? So you guys can't get access to that low board on the website. You have to contact them directly. Just go to their website, DAT.com, go to customer service, contact us, whatever you have to do, call them up. And when you call them up, they're going to maybe ask you for an MC number, but I'm a partner with DAT. So big salute to DAT, we do business together. Let them know. Brandon, Manny, The mentor. Let them know Brandon Manny, the mentor, sit you. I just had to write it up there. It's something about me just writing stuff so people could physically see it, you know? Anyway, tell them I sent you. And then they're going to give you access to that load board. And once you get access to that load board, you better start executing. That's what it's about out here. Just don't go call them up and gain access to the load board and never use it. When you get access to that load board, you better start using it, whether you're dispatching for yourself or you're going out hustling, trying to find owner operators to dispatch for, right? So you don't need an MC number to get access to the load board. Just let them know Brandon Manny, the mentor, sent you, and also you should be able to get that 30-day free trial, too, without clicking the link below. So, man, real quick video out here. If anyone have any questions, as you guys see right here, send me a text message.
317-953-8943. Go visit my website, www.extraordinarymovement.com. Go get you 30-day free trial with DAT. Go sign up with TAVS, Trans and Financial Services. If you guys are looking for a factor and service out here, also, if you guys are freight brokers looking for a factor and service, go sign up with Axel Payments. And let me leave you guys with one thing before I forget. Another way that you guys can acquire access to the load board, and this is for you dispatchers. Right when you acquire that first owner operator that you're dispatching for, you shouldn't be dispatching for any owner operators if they don't have an MC number anyway. So if you're a dispatcher, you're only going to dispatch for owner operators who have their own authority. You might get away with some owner operators that just have their USDOT number, but they can't go interstate. They only could stay interstate. So nine times out of 10, when you're dispatching for someone, you're going to be dispatching for an owner operator that has his own MC number. So another way is basically to use the owner ops MC number. So that's just another way. Maybe some of you guys out here already have owner operators, but you just don't have access to the low board. So you could use that owner operator's MC number that you're dispatching for. That's one way. And like I say, the other way is just to contact them up directly. Let them know that you're a dispatching company. Let them know Brandon Manny sent you. Let me leave you guys with this. CEO, commit, execute, and be obsessed. Everybody be CEO, great out there. commit, execute, and be obsessed. Everybody be great out there.